Hey guys, this is going to be a comprehensive guide on how to manage your Disney Plus profiles. Now you can have up to seven different profiles all on the same Disney Plus account, but I'm going to go through and show you how you can add new profiles, delete them, as well as go about changing the different settings with inside of a profile. So right now I'm logged in to my account and in my profile, I'm at DisneyPlus.com. So this is the web browser version of the Disney Plus service. So my icon is here in the upper right hand corner. If you're on a TV or an app version of Disney Plus, you might need to scroll all the way over to the left hand side of the screen to open up the side settings and then your profile picture might be in the upper left hand corner in that instance. But once you find your profile icon, go to it and then you can go down to click edit profiles or we're going to start here by showing you how to add a new profile. So we're going to click the little plus sign here next to the add profile. And then you're going to need to click a profile icon. And then you're going to need to name that profile. Let's just call it Dave. And if you want it to be a kid-specific account, you can turn on that setting right here. Essentially, a kids-friendly account makes the interface a little bit easier as well as only content suitable for kids will be accessible. So then you can click Save. And then that's going to add it to your profile lineup when it asks who's watching. Now, let's just say you want to delete a profile. So I'm going to go back to my account. And again, I'm going to go and find my account image. And then I'm going to go down and click where it says edit profiles. And at this point, you can only delete profiles that aren't the main one of the account. So I'm the one who purchased Disney Plus, set it up with my email and password. And the first account that was created was this one named Eric. And that one cannot be deleted, but all the other ones can. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this temporary uh, Dave account that I just created and scroll down to the bottom and you can click delete profile and then just go ahead and click delete and that will eliminate it here from the lineup and I'll just show you with my account as you can see if you scroll down to the bottom it doesn't have the delete option so you don't need to worry if you're the account creator if somebody's you know messing around with you or something they're not going to be able to delete your account but you can also go in here and change the account name if you want. You can change your profile icon by clicking this little pencil here next to your icon. And then some other settings that you have, you can turn on or off autoplay. So essentially when you get to the end of an episode, it will play the next episode in that series automatically. So that's what will happen if you have autoplay on. And then also background video, that's just going to enable background video um, to be playing on different landing pages and things like that throughout the application. So you can turn that on or off. Not really a big deal in terms of that setting. Uh, and then you can also change the app language. There's not a ton of different languages currently available, just English, Spanish, as well as France. I'm assuming that more languages will be available as they continue to roll out this service. So I'm going to click cancel to go back to the previous page. And that's essentially all the different settings that I wanted to touch on in terms of adding a new profile, how to delete one, and then how you can go in and change the different settings of these specific profiles. So I hope this video was helpful. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I hope to see you guys back here for future videos.